Hey everyone, Team UDF here for some more Smash Wii UDF, and we're live on Twitch.tv, which means that the chat is going to help me pick some of the matches tonight. What we have for you tonight is a number one contendership match between four teams of the chat's choosing. They seem to have already chosen them for me. And now, what I want the chat to think about throughout the show is if these teams are going to go at it in an eight-player Smash, or if we're going to contest a, uh, a little mini-tournament here tonight. But first, uh... I believe one match that was requested was Link versus Toon Link, so let's start you off with that. Yeah, because remember, Link is going to be fighting Cloud in a rematch at Plaza Party, because Cloud is looking to redeem himself for his first performance in Smash Wii UDF. Let us get to the Halberd. We're on the Halberd tonight. Now we're also going to have Robin on the show. Robin's going to face one of the members of the Entourage. But here we go, Link versus Toon Link. Link being a little careful here to start the things off. Oh, they're both, no, okay. They both just fell down a pit. I forgot that the platform was coming up. Oh, nice spin attack by Toon Link there. I believe this is Toon Link's first match in uh, Smash Wii UDF. I could be wrong. But uh, here we go. The mini tournament sounds fun, one person says. Link with a nice shot there to Toon Link, manages to grab him. Remember, Link has that golden ticket that he won in the tournament recently. So he can cash that in for a shot at any championship he wants at any time. Nice, Link has built himself back up thanks to the power of that Fire Flower. Ooh, nice uppercut though by Toon Link who grabs the assist trophy. Here come the slicing cutter things that I've seen somewhat often, but I don't know their names because nobody's surprised at all. Alright, Link's got a Tanuki Leaf. But now Young Link, oh, throws it away, never mind. Oh crap. Oh, big slash misses though by both of them. Smile Smash Ball in play. Could be the Triforce Slash, or it could be the Triforce Slash. Which Triforce Slash could it be? It looks like it's the Triforce, oh, misses, nice. Two Link gets out of the way of that and stops Link's Reign of Terror with the Triforce Slash. Gets another assist trophy, throws it up, here we go. Here's this guy from, I believe that's from Earthbound. Oh, Link destroyed with those missiles. And now Link finds himself losing to his younger counterpart. Man, those missiles are just everywhere. They're really beating the crap out of Link. Counter with the items as well. Cannonball incoming. Pokeball in play as well. Let's see what's going to happen here. Toon Link gets hit by the cannonball. Jeff from Earthbound indeed. All right. And here's this thing that you guys told me the name of before. That I'm sure you're going to tell me the name of again. Now Link has a damage advantage, but Toon Link might just be too fast for him. Link's having trouble here. Oh no! Toon Link goes flying finally, and it looks like the Hellbird is uh, uh, trying to uh, will its existence against Toon Link here. Snivy. Snivy was the Pokemon from earlier. Oh, but that Super Scope, we've seen how dangerous that is. He went for the shock. Zelda won a match with that recently. Against Peach. Ah, oh, Link! Gone! No! Oh, but Toon Link can bracket him here. He tries hard enough. Another shot! Hard shot with the, uh... Oh, and a third one for good measure. Oh, the winner is... Toon Link! It is indeed Toon Link. So, not good for Link as he, uh... Takes a loss heading into Plaza Party here. He's supposed to be trained up to fight uh, Cloud, but it seems as though things have swung Toon Link's way. All right, we're gonna do Cloud versus Ryu for Cloud's warm-up match. Three, Both newcomers two, here at Smash Wii UDF. Let's see what go. Cloud and Ryu can do here. Charging up the limit break already, nice. Now, since I've not played Street Fighter or anything, I don't know the name of Ryu's moves, but uh, I will tell you that he is a skilled martial artsman. Okay, all right, yeah, we make it. Oh, ball to play. Oh, no, Ryu, what did you do? <laughs> and Cloud gets the, uh, the tip end of that shot as well. Oh, nice. Is this the Hadouken guy? I don't remember. Buster Sword. This is the Hadouken guy. Cool. Wow, nice combo attack there by Cloud, who gets a piece of the Dragoon. Hadouken. But uh, Ryu throws him away. Not going to take much crap here. Big shot, but Cloud manages to stay on. Second piece of the dragon goes for Ryu. Cloud blocks. Nice uh, exchange here as they're trading off blocks, but uh, now they're all evened up at 75 apiece. Cloud trying to bracket on the ledge, but misses. And looks like Ryu is going to get the third piece of the dragoon. Cloud tries to bash it away from him. Now, but now uh, Ryu's just one piece away from using the dragoon. 
Here's oh my god, a super skeleton play. Holy crap. Limit break coming in. This is the Hadouken. Oh, and uh, Cloud with a big shot there. Manages to get the Dragoon piece away from Ryu, actually. Ryu going for a big combo attack, but Cloud counters. And now Cloud has the super scope and eliminates Ryu for the first stock. Here we go. Cloud, though, going, going for the Hadouken. Oh, man. Does a bit of damage, but not too much, I suppose. Miss is with the big, uh, big blast from the... Oh, man, the bomb. We remember what happened between Samus and Robin with the bomb, but it doesn't look like anything too exciting to happen this one. Uh, Cloud is all ready for uh, a big shot here. Can Cloud redeem himself from that tournament uh, loss? Oh, but now it's uh, Ryu going for the, the Super Scope. And Cloud has the ship going up against him here. Oh, man, Blast Cloud and Cloud. Ooh, we, wow, he rolls out of the way. Oh, but the tip end of the cannon manages to take him out. Now Ryu bringing it back slowly here. Where's that third piece of the Dragoon? I lost track of it. Oh, Cloud's got the final smash, maybe. Here we go. Let's, let's see. Oh, no. It switches off to Ryu. Ryu going for the big Hadouken. And Cloud's going to get blasted off the ledge, but he manages to stay on here. Ryu going for a big combo attack. Fire flower counter, though, by Cloud. Nice maneuver there. That box could have some dangerous explosives in it. They both got to be careful. Oh, and in fact, it is Cloud who gets knocked out at the last second. Wow. That's just Dang. <laughs> oh, man. Both Link and Cloud losing their warm-up matches. That's not a good way to build a, a, a big event match now. Well, all right, well, I guess we'll see what happens between Link and Cloud at Plaza Party. Uh, Robin is going to try to take some vengeance for Luigi, who got completely destroyed by the Entourage of Darkness on our last show. Luigi's still recovering from his injuries suffered at the hands of King DDD with that Daybreaker. So maybe uh, Twitch chat inadvertently trying to give King DDD his comeuppance here. Here we go. go. Alright. Robin charging up the arc magic already. King DDD missing with the minion. I don't know what he's doing over there. Uh, Robin playing a ledge game. Maybe trying to bend. Oh, nice shot by Robin to take the early lead here. Assist trophy in play. Gets the assist trophy. It's a Lech Man. We've also seen a Lech Man very recently. Defeating Mega Man, actually. In the Tag Team Championship match. Oh, nice shot by Robin. Who's... Oh, wow. King DDD. Big folly there. King DDD getting eliminated right away and now robin has the home run bat this could be a very short match if robin gets his way with that home run bat holy flid oh my god big shot with the home run bat throws the bomb away the bomb explodes king ddd not an impressive showing for the entourage of darkness here but he finally manages to bat robin back Robin trying to grab him to heal up, but King DDD smacks him with the hammer. Nice. Oh, nice block by Robin, but King DDD counters. Robin goes flying. Minion attack. Super scope for the third match in a row. And it looks like it's King DDD who's going to get the super scope in his hand. Well, King DDD had a, a rough start here, but he's slowly starting to climb back into it. Trying to make Ganondorf the king of... Or the, the champion of champions proud. And now uh, King DDD invoking the power of the star. And now Robin's got to play a defensive game, definitely. Here we go. Robin managing to get the foot away here, and he manages to avoid all the star, but uh, Robin finally eliminated by King DDD there. We're down to one sock apiece, but King DDD, of course, with that rough start, and Robin, he knows it. He's just waiting now, blast King DDD back, and he's still got that bomb in play, but uh, Robin's in the lead, so it seems the ship is going after him. He decides to throw the bomb away. Maybe Robin looking to finish him off with his sword instead. Heals up here, and he's got King DDD in his grasp. Oh, th throws the barrel away, too. Looks like Robin uh, deciding to not go for the items here, but King DDD takes advantage because of that. Here comes the blast. Uh-oh, the halberd perhaps turning up against King DDD here, and here comes uh, the ghost from Pac-Man. King DDD getting blasted away here, and that's it. Robin takes the lead, and the victory, rather. Takes, he takes the victory. Love the flip. Three steps ahead, Robin says. Robin takes the win here tonight against King DDD. Well done for Robin. So let's set this thing up. Um, uh, the first team is uh, Corin and Roy. Corin. Roy. And let's have the second team be the second one listed. Peach and Zaldo. Peach and Zaldo. Uh, where is Zaldo? Zaldo's hiding Zaldo. here. Peach and Zaldo. The, uh, I guess they were rivals, but now they have turned into buddies, according to our Twitch chat here. So, 
let's get this thing rolling right along here. We've got so we've got three more matches for you. Quite a few matches for one show, but yeah, it's not like I've got any consistency with this thing anyway. There we go. All right, princesses versus another princess, and then there's Roy. Okay, good. So let's see. Corner Roy taking some high damage to start things off here, but Peach grab. Oh my God! Huge bomb blows Roy away. And now uh, Peach and uh, Zelda beating the crap out of Corn for a while, but Roy manages to get back in there and stop that nonsense. Gets fire misses. Corn now going up against Zelda as Peach tries to get uh, a handle against Roy. There's a trophy or something in play. Corn and oh, big shot by Corn and Roy taking out Zelda right away. Roy is the prettiest princess, lol. Oh no, there goes Corn though. Corn with a self destruct. And now it's all evened up again. Zelda in trouble uses the Pharaohs when to get back up. Final smash ball. This thing is rapidly approaching the end game already. Holy crap. Because Peach and Roy are in trouble. It looks like it's uh, Roy with the final smash. Roy goes for the big slash against Peach. Absolutely destroys her. Sends her out over the fray. Zelda now going flying. Peach on the road for a bit here, but uh, managed to counter. Peach going. Oh, there goes Zelda. Peach finds herself all alone now against Fire Emblem. Holy crap. We're really going to do more Fire Emblem again. Peach getting absolutely destroyed now against Corrin and Roy. Dragoon in play now by Roy. Peach has just got no chance. Holy flid. See, this is what happens when you guys keep putting Fire Emblem together. Is we're never gonna, we're never gonna see new tag champs now. Because Fire Emblem's just gonna keep winning the whole thing. All right, so Fire Emblem destroying Peach and Zelda. Looks like Peach and Zelda were not able to make the dream come true tonight. Greninja and Lucina versus Olimar and... A bit of a wild card team here in play. We've got Olimar and Mr. Game and Watch. Mr. Game and Watch. Well, sure. Here we go. This is why you vote for Fire Emblem. <laughs> Fire Emblem's overpowered Three, times. Two, one, Here we go. go. Alright. Mr. Game & Watch, of course, he's got those nines that he can score at any given time, so he's definitely the wild card here, but Greninja going right after him. Lucina chopping him up as well. Olimar kind of finds himself beat up on the corner there, but Lucina also gets exploded. Lucina, of course, teamed with Robin to try and take on Martha Knight at the end of the tournament with the Dream Team, but, uh... Now Robin's the number one contender for the Champion of Champions trophy, so it seems Lucina has gone to recruit herself a new tag team partner in Greninja. There's Aegis Shield used by Mr. Game & Watch there, taking advantage by sending both members of the red team away. And now Greninja getting beat up. Remember, Greninja was in the original Dream Team tournament. I believe his partner was Lucario. Here we go. Two by Mr. Game & Watch. No go. Oh, there goes Lucina. No, that's Greninja. Let's say. What the heck is that? Oh, it's that partner heal thing or whatever. Uses it to heal up Mr. Game Watch nicely right as he goes flying. Excellent maneuver there by Olimar. And now, oh, Olimar with a huge shot of Greninja eliminating him. Final smash ball in play. Lucina's gonna want to get her hands on that. Turn things around here, but Mr. Game Watch is instead going to get the Squid of Doom. Squid of Doom devastating everyone here. Oh, there goes Lucina, but she still manages to get in it. Maybe not after this shot, though. Oh, she's survived. Oh, not after that one. Oh, dang. Well, that sucks. All right, Lucina and Greninja down to their final stocks. Well, Mr. Gamer Watch and Olimar are surprisingly doing quite well here. They've both got all of their stocks. And uh, Mr. Gamer Watch not all that high in damage either, but Lucina's trying to focus fire on uh, Olimar right now. And now here's an assist trophy. Oh, big shot there. Sends Mr. Gamer Watch away. Another electric shock, but uh, that one avoided. Greninja's got a bomb in play here. There it is. Now Greninja eliminates himself, I think. Well, the flip was that. Olimar gone, and now... It's uh, a one-on-three for stocks here, as far as Lucina's concerned. Oh no, Lucina! Can Lucina find success here? There's the bomb up in the air. She's trying to avoid everything here, but Mr. Game & Watch and Olimar just have too much of an advantage over her. They've got the items as well, but Lucina, she's trying her hardest, so she can eliminate Game & Watch. Maybe she can get a good shot off on Olimar here. Here comes the, the ship's items. They're starting to roll around. Oh, the ship hits Lucina, but she's still in it. Another bomb goes off in the air there. Lucina's got to get down from that platform. Oh, she finally gets a good shot on uh, Mr. Game & Watch, but... Oh, the Star Rod finishes her off. Hey, so props to whoever picked this team. It looks like they're in the finals of our mini-tournament here. All right. 
So all the Mar and Mr. Gavin watching the finals of our little competition here. So will it be all the Mar and Mr. Gavin watch, or will it be Corn and Roy going to meet Marth and Ike for the tag team championships? Tag team championships, of course, already very prestigious here in Smash Wii UDF. We made sure that they got sent to the biggest tag team we could find. All right, here we go. Let's not waste this thing. Let's go three. Three for our main event. Okay, now! Oh, here we go. All right. Three stocks to a finish. Here we go, main event of the evening. Let's see a very even match so far because we're just feeling it out. Nine, but uh, Mr. Gaming Watch was not near anybody for that. That could have been devastating early. Roy's got a star here. And Corn suckers in Mr. Game and Watch. Now they've got a run from Roy. Green team managing to do so, but they run right into. Oh god. Go away, Skype. They run right into everyone there. Okay, go away. Right. Uh oh, all our... Oh, the beetle was in play. Everyone managed to avoid it. A big shot by Corrin there against Olimar. Game Watch back on the board though. Throw stuff, but nope. Aegis Shield in play by Corrin. Now who's got a hit heavy advantage against Game of Watch? Oh, I guess she oh, Orc Club in play. Now she's got the Orc Club too, man. She's got everything. Could be a big shot here, eliminating both members of the green team. Final Smash Ball in play. Mr. Game and Watch though. Octopus time. They could finally take the lead against the Fire Emblem team here. Marth or er, Roy getting sent back there. The octopus isn't going to do too much damage, and even while the octopus is out, Olimar gets eliminated, so they're not too good of a final smash there for the green team. Fire Emblem just running away with it, they don't care. Roy's got the, the healing thing, oh, but Mr. Game Watch knocks him away, he doesn't get the chance to use it. Throws it at uh, Korn, heals up a bit of her damage. Roy's still pretty high up in his first stock, though Game Watch stuck, but Ghost Flying is going to make the effect on Olimar now, trying to contend with both members of the red team. Oh, big shot there! Eliminates game and watch. Fire Emblem trying to take this thing away. I don't know. Oh, but the ship is aiming for Roy. And it looks like it's going to take Roy out. Oh no, Corrin gets blasted too, but Roy is still in. Has Dark Samus for the assist trophy here. Screw attack in play. Actually, that's a lightning bolt from Mario Kart, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Okay. But now Game & Watch and Olimar find themselves mini. You know, I'm desperately trying to get a 9, does not get so both of them eliminated. Just Fire Emblem about to sweep this thing six socks to zero. That would be probably the most devastating loss we've seen in the entire thing so far. Oh, there goes Roy. Mr. Game & Watch off the ledge. Oh, a big shot to Olimar eliminate. So this is going to be a clean sweep by this freaking team. Oh my god. Absolutely destroyed. I don't even believe this right now. Here we go. Ouch! Oh, oh, takes down Roy. Roy is going to be the one to mess up the perfect here. For Fire Emblem. Game & Watch just desperately trying anything he can now. I don't even know what Game & Watch can do. He can go for a 9, he manages to throw Corrin away for just a bit- OH! EXPLODES Corrin! Game & Watch is really going for it here! He manages to survive a whole two stocks against Fire Emblem. Dang. Game & Watch might be the most impressive ploy against Fire Emblem right now. But Game & Watch goes flying. Game & Watch countering, but uh, gets thrown away. Game & Watch with the assist trophy! Oh, but it does not get it in time. That would have been the perfect opportunity for Game & Watch to fight back, but no, of course. It is Korn and Roy going to Plaza Party to fight Martha and Ike for those Tag Team Championships. Therefore, Fire Emblem is going to retain these championships no matter what. But, I guess we're going to see if they flip hands between Martha and Ike and then uh, Korn and Roy. That's it, everybody. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time for more Smash Wii UDF. Boy! Wait, what? What? Oh, I'm getting... Wait a minute. I'm getting a note here. See, this note says that, in fact, Bowser Jr. has challenged Mario to a rematch at Plaza Party. However, Bowser Jr. wants the Mushroom Kingdom to be on the line because Bowser Jr. has defeated both Peach and Yoshi very recently. Luigi cannot defend the honor of the Mushroom Kingdom. He is injured. 
Therefore, Bowser Jr. calling out Mario to put the Mushroom Kingdom on the line for Plaza Party. Will Bowser Jr. take control of the entire Mushroom Kingdom? We'll find out at Plaza Party. Thanks for watching, everyone.